Mike Calderon with Horse Racing Fantasy, Horse Racing Simulations, and we're at Hollywood Park. And today, we're going to be talking to Brian Corner, one of the top trainers here at Hollywood Park. And I'm going to take a little insight onto the care of the racehorse. Now, I know in our game, you're not taking care of the horses, but we want to show that aspect of the sport and why it's so important to see the great care these animals get. Brian Corner at Hollywood Park, and uh, Brian's going to spend a little time with us today talking about the care of the actual animals, what's involved. I mean, a lot of people see them out there racing, but really don't understand what's involved with the day-to-day -day care. Brian, give us an overview of what happens typically during a day in the care of a horse besides getting carrots. Um, these horses are taken care of from early in the morning all through the day. They're monitored. Um, everything, every horse is fed individually. They all like different things. All of them have different personalities. Um, you know, we check their legs every morning. The grooms are a big part of what these horses go through every day. They're worked with every day and handled, and they build a rapport with their grooms. Um, everything we do during the day is for their best interest and their being, you know, happy. They're treated like, like kings. I mean, their legs are done up every day. They're iced. They're handled. I mean, you see the personality of this horse. This isn't an act. We're not doing this for today. I mean, you can tell this has been done before. He knows us. You know, this is Black 17, one of our best sprinters in the barn, and hopefully Breeders' Cup winner. I mean, these horses are like they're like people. You know, I mean, they get allergies to the straw. I mean, there's different stuff. You know, you have to do to them to get them to be their best. Yeah, I noticed some guys use different types of bedding. Some of the horses are on shaving. Some of the horses on straw. I mean, all indicates based on their actions inside of that environment. You'll have horses that are bad bleeders and stuff, and you don't want them eating their straw all night. And you'll have fat horses you don't want. Some horses will eat their bedding, you know, as, as well as they will their alfalfa, and eat everything in sight. And you'll train them, and they'll get fatter and fatter instead of fitter and fitter. And you go, who's you know who's feeding the horse donuts? Yeah. What's more common in horses? Um, muscle issues? I mean, what's the most common issue in horses in training? What, what do we look out for the most that we want to protect on the horses? Is it the uh, muscles? Is it bone? Any, any particular? I don't think there's anything that you can point to and say we need to take care of everything on this horse. Every day is an issue. And uh, Yeah, there's, there's nothing in particular to point to. All those things you mentioned are very important. It's pretty funny. I'm just watching. Every single horse has his own personality. Some of them kind of shy away from us, and some of them want to be close. It's pretty, uh, each horse has a personality. We talked a little bit about that. Some of the horses actually do recognize, recognize your voice and recognize you. I mean, I had one uh, trainer tell me that when a horse sees him, kind of go, acts up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to believe. You know, I mean, we said the grooms take care of him the majority of the time, but us as trainers, I think if we have them enough and we make enough trips up and down the shed row and check on them, they know you're coming, especially if you feed them treats now and then, you know, they go for that. That you provide that extra level of attention or would I be able to walk into most barns and say, hey, look at the attention that these animals get? Um, I think we all try our hardest. I think some people have a little more knowledge than others and an idea of what they want their horses to be like in their stall and how comfortable. I think we bet our horses a little, little more and keep our barn a little sometimes a little more cleaner than others but I mean all, overall everybody has the horse at interest so it's hard to say anybody's denying anything. You're training the horses physically you take care of them but also you've got to know where to place them and I keep hearing more and more that that is just as important or maybe more important in winning a lot of races is understanding where the horse really fits and where he can win in the race. Yeah it's a, it's a hard situation when you don't claim a lot of horses because you can't play the hard ball game where you claim a horse for 32 and maybe jam them in for 20 20 or 25 you know and, and build up your percentage or do some good when you have horses like people bring you it's hard to tell them your baby needs to run for a claiming price you know so sometimes you need to run we end up running straight and baiting a few more times than we'd like to and it, you know it's not always a trainer that picks the spots I mean the, the owners are in this to have fun it's their investment we get on the phone and we talk to them and ask what's your opinion where do you want to run your horse who do you want to ride your horse so it's not always you know, the trainer's deal. They, they bring you a horse because you're 20% as a trainer, but then when you get the horse, for some reason, they decide they're going to start telling you how to do it. And so your 20% sometimes gets thrown out the window. We're in Brian Corner's barn here at Hollywood Park, and as you could see, this is probably the five-star resort of horses, uh, horse, horse care 
And uh, Brian's got several horses in today, and we wish him the best of luck, and we want to thank him for taking the time. Brian, thank you very much for spending the time with us. Thank you. First time starter, Hannah's classy boy. That's why trainers that take good care of their horses like we saw today, those are the type of results you get, winning results, top trainers taking care of their horses in top fashion.